Hi guys, today I am just going to do a quick overview of how I keep track of my completed and uncompleted diamond paintings. This is a technique that I picked up from Shannon, um, who I will link below. She has a channel, but I don't think she's posted in a while. And um, I got the idea to use traveler notebooks from her. I actually had never even really understood what a traveler's notebook was until I watched her channel. And she does kind of a little overview. But basically, what a traveler's notebook is, is it's a little cover. Like, it's a leather cover. This is just the traveler's notebook. And then it has elastic in it. That, like, these elastic loops. That you can slip these notebooks into. And you can also get, like, folders. Like, this one has a folder in it. And these are just like little tabs and stuff that came with it. But um, some of them will have pockets and like things in them. Um, I got this one at Michael's. I have modified it a bit. It had a really crappy pen loop. And it only had one slice of elastic. So I got some purple elastic and added some more. Um, so, you know. This one is also from Michael's. And it is a really cheap, cheap one. Um, it is not... I mean, it's, it's basically thick paper, and it's been kind of distressed to look a little bit like leather. And it has four loops in it, originally. It doesn't come with this on it. I got it. I put that on there. And um, I just got some plain inserts. I got a little craft paper folder for it, put some stickers on it, a little clear plastic zippy pouch folder see they all go in like that and then some sticky sticky things to stick in it anyway um so what i do to organize my paintings is i print out when i order a painting i take a picture of it sometimes i can just copy and paste like right click the picture save it or copy it into a document resize it the way i want it my goal is to get two per page. Anyway, so what I do is I will then resize it to try to get approximately two per page. Sometimes the proportions are not right for that. And then um, for the first few of these, what I did was I cut them out after I printed them and then glued them in with a glue stick. But now I just print them out on sticker paper to skip that step. Then what I do is I write on here the size in centimeters. So this is 30 by 40. And in the parentheses, I put what type of drills it is. So this is round, so I put an R. Um, if it's square, well, the, okay, so these are special, so I put an SP. This one's square, so I put an S. Um, and that, I mean, that is really it. So I just put, then when I complete them, I write completed and the date. That you'll see these don't have a date, that's just because I completed them before I started this book so I didn't have the date exactly um, and then some so yeah sometimes these are too big so they end up just one to a page and then I just you know I have just been doing this for this whole time and I am just going to keep doing that really simple. I've seen some people that like put all the stats in there where they bought it, how much it cost, you know, the whole deal. And I just don't feel the need to do that. And this is just, you know, a good visual way for me to see kind of at a glance what I've got, what I've completed, um, what I have on the way. Now I don't have any right now, but when I have something on the way, so let's say that I just ordered this, printed it out and put it in here. If it was still in the mail on its way here, I would put that pink flag on it. Then once it got here, I just take the pink flag off and put that back in my book. I just keep those there. Um, so that is all I do. And it's, I mean, really good, quick way to be able to see anything. I mean, these, there's no way I could fit two of those to a page. So yeah, um, that is just my quick way of how I keep track of my diamond paintings. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have ideas or ways to improve this, then definitely leave a comment. 
If you would like to see more of my videos, then please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell if you want notifications. And thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.